Today, I'm gonna to be filling in this gap right here. You can see we recently put in this vinyl flooring and there's just some gaps and I just wanna fill that in. I'm going to be using this wood putty. It's, uh, you just get it at the hardware store. It's nothing fancy. This one is Roberts. It works on wood, laminate, and vinyl. So I got the tan color here and we're just gonna go ahead and start filling this gap here. First thing that I wanna do is clean it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my blade here. And I just wanna cut this old caulking out of there. And just clean it up so I can get the wood putty in there. There we go. So now everything's ready to go. So I'm just gonna squirt it in there. And I also have a putty knife here. So I just wanna smooth it out. to squirt some more here. Very nice. So now a lot like caulking, I'm just gonna use my finger here and try to press it in there so it fills that gap. I have a paper towel here I'm just wiping my fingers off on. I'm gonna wipe my putty knife off as well. And I'm gonna come back in here. And I just wanna smooth it out. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up off the floor there. All right, so there you go, that is it. I went ahead and filled in that gap. Now the next thing I can just come back and clean this up a little bit, you know, wipe everything down, might do a little touch up paint and then I can actually even do another bead of caulking around down there like they do. You see the caulking around the edge here. I can clean that up as well. But that's it, that is how you fill in gaps there using that putty and it's pretty simple and easy. It will dry uh, and it'll dry really hard and that's gonna be a good way to fill in the gaps. So again, my name is Drew. If you like DIY around the house type of stuff, please feel free to check out some of my other videos. Like and subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.